Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're going to dive right into this and we're going to talk about um, we're linking two PLCs together because we're using their power supply. Um, so as you can see, what we have here is a MicroLogix PLC and if you look right here real carefully, you can see that there's a plus uh, 24 and a minus 24, so you have a positive and a negative off of a MicroLogix 1000 series. Um, it's going to take NAC inputs and we're going to output uh, DC uh, power that we could use for our DC inputs and then we have relay outputs on both of these particular PLCs so We could either use AC or DC on our outputs. Well, it's our choice But what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about how we're going to tie um, These two PLCs together. So we do have these two PLCs here and I apologize for the jerking on the video um, And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and talk about how we need to link those so when we know the properties of um, power systems in most facilities or most um, organizations. We know that power generally works where we're trying to send out a positive signal. Um, I believe we're using mostly syncing inputs in most things. And because of that, we're going to do um, where our, our ground can be tied together with our, um, our negative uh, power line. So in this particular instance, all we need to do is link our negatives together. Um, so our zero volts DC just simply gets a, a wire connected into it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this particular terminal here and we're going to put um, our blue wire. And in the applications I'm using, I'm going to be using um, blue and brown and I know that that's contradictory to what NFPA 79 teaches us on how we're supposed to wire where positive should be a blue a solid blue wire negative should be a blue with a white stripe wire so I know that's contradictory but I'm going back to the old school method um, here for a while at least and we're going to just use blue as our zero volts DC and then brown will be our, our positive so we're going to go ahead and connect that together and then we'll come over to the other PLC that we have here. I'll see if I can avoid trying to jerk, but I'm not going to get there as well as I want to. And we're also going to have the same thing here where this particular terminal happens to be our negative uh, zero volts or our zero volts DC or our negative terminal. And we're just going to go ahead and connect that together. Now that those are connected, it won't matter where we draw the, the positive from. So we can draw the positive from this particular terminal. We can go back to the other PLC and draw it from that one. But either way, we'll always have a combined or a joined DC bus together. So wherever we choose to take it from, we have a combined DC bus. It also gives us the ability to use um, where we only have, I believe, 0.3 amps coming out of each one of the power terminals. We now have the ability to use up to 6 amps, not off of one terminal per se, but combined together because of the jumper, we're able to use a combined of 6 amps. So that's all that we have to do there in order to use our, um, our DC off of both of these particular uh, MicroLogix controllers. Now if we wanted to tie like say another, uh, another particular power supply off to the side, all we would do is just take another jumper and jumper it in and tie all three of them together. Again, just gives us the, the ability to pull that power from wherever we choose to so long as we're not overdrawing from that particular piece of the power supply. Um, just some of those uh, constraints to take into consideration. Another constraint you'll have to take into consideration is understanding that, say you put a power supply over here that's probably, let's just say 50 amps DC, so it'd be 24 volts DC at 50 amp rating. You wouldn't want to use a jumper that's 24 gauge wire, just because that's not high enough for the amp amperage that you're using you would have to use a different jumper so in this particular case I would strongly encourage you just to not use the DC off of these and just use a separate DC off of that that 50 amp DC uh, power supply just some considerations to take into to play here but for us we're just going to link the MicroLogix together because we're going to be using their power supplies in order to feed to our DC inputs for this particular application anyway that's all we got to do for a jumper to link those together um, other than that, we'll just be pulling out of our, our 24 positive leg. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for additional videos.